attempt for all salon people and then party them. JRJ Media will be bringing you a variety of programs ranging from documentaries to discussions, interviews, news, views, sports and entertainment. Our programs will contain matters on development, governance, the economy and issues that are of importance to Sierra Leone. So, no left BNO because we get Bebe Bebe program then like Salon Discussion, Meets the Ministers, the President's Hour and the Gladi Gladi program, Look Me, I Look You. All this, they start soon na www.sarahjemmedia.org. Na who's term this? Hello, my name is Josephine Kamara. I'm the founder of You Can Do It Foundation. You Can Do It Foundation is a charitable organization based in Sierra Leone, West Africa. You Can Do It Foundation has been in existence for the past two years. We have been fighting gender-based violence against women and girls within the community. During the past two years, we have been offering psychosocial support, counseling, court fee, medical fee, including school items to the survivors of gender-based violence. However, during the lockdown of COVID-19, report received and confirmed that rape cases among a minor has increased tremendously within our community. Because of this, You Can Do It Foundation has secured the land to build an accommodation for the survivors of rape. However, this may almost become impossible without your generous support we need your help to build this home for the survivors. Your help could be in cash or in kind. If you wish to join us to make a difference in a child's life, please go to our website, which is www.youcandoitcyf.org. Or you can go to our GoFundMe page, which is Home of Hope for the Survivors of Gender Base. Or you can contact us with the details at the end of this video. We thank you greatly for your generous support and thank you once more for making a difference in a child's life. I was raped multiple times by my aunt's boyfriend when I was six. I was repeatedly raped at the age of eight by a close family member. I was raped at 19. I didn't speak openly about it because I was ashamed and afraid that people would judge me. I was raped at age five by my caregiver's husband. On June 17, 2020, five-year-old Khadija Sako, a beautiful little girl from Freetown, Sierra Leone, was repeatedly raped and strangled to death, allegedly by her own cousin. Her death shocked the nation. But in truth, in this small West African country, nine out of 10 girls experience some form of sexual violence in their lifetime. Think about that for a second. Nine out of 10, that's 90%. My name is Aisha Sasei. I'm a journalist and activist. I'm joining forces with Idris Elba and other activists from across Sierra Leone to support the survivors of sexual violence with the Survivors Solidarity Fund. Please consider donating whatever you can afford. 
All monies raised will go to four local organizations currently providing free medical and legal services to survivors. Five-year-old Khadija lost her life to sexual violence. That same threat remains for millions of others. So this is also a call for you to use your voice, your power to draw attention to an enduring culture of rape. Together, we must end it now. My name is Aisha Sasei. I am Khadija Sako. 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 We are Khadija Sako. We are all Khadija Sako. When I was a kid growing up in Sierra Leone, my neighbor had a small TV. The television was beaming these images about farming, war, about diseases. There was a silent majority suffering. I am fed up with that kind of news. We can use culture and art to change mind and hearts and inspire. Pride. This is big, man. This has great magnitude. Sometimes I feel afraid. I feel terrified when I think of the project. Tito! What are they, Tito? We are nowhere near what you want for day. I want this. I want it. I want it. I want this thing for succeed, Koji. Please, 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 I'll die. Is this a curse or what? No, you have to argue like you. 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 Oh, man, just the lie, lie, blame, blame. These are the things that have wrecked this country. I call the second to last project. We died at the last. I guess I showed my brother. Fire. I, 
Me love it on the catch a fire. Now me medicine. Me love it on the catch a fire. Come and solve me. love it on the catch a fire. Yes, doc. No, no, not with tablets. I me love it on the catch a fire. Me love it on the catch a fire. Me love it on the catch a fire. I me love it on the catch a fire. Me love it on the catch a fire. Come and solve me. Love it on the catch a fire. You know me cocoa butter. Nobody know go change em. You don't recognize me yet. I know they put refuse I love you, I love you now. Only that go the real love. Now you know me go let me diamond. Now only you are go give everything, no. Me equal to zero without you. Now me don't be your hero. Now I dey go. True love no easy, forget you. So when you get them, never will have it to want. He say make a take a sip. I say I no want. He say make a take a I no want. He say make a put ooh. I no want. When I love you, love you, I want you. My name is Miata Fombola. I'm an economist and every day I fight to change the way our economy works. I've seen up close the power of Labour governments to change things and to do the impossible. When the global financial crisis hit in 2008, I was working in the strategy unit for Gordon Brown's number 10. I saw that with focus and political will, our government could move mountains. And it was in those months that I first understood that the change my parents taught us was necessary might actually be possible. My parents came to London as refugees when I was five and became part of the Sierra Leonean community here. They made impossible sacrifices to give my brothers and I the best start they could. I've been lucky, but for so many of the kids I grew up with, good kids from good families who were as likely to go to university as prison, the system let them down. My parents made sure we knew that this system that holds people down is wrong that it deprives our communities of hope and ambition and that we had a duty to change it. But I also grew up seeing the value of solidarity, 
When things got tough, people in our community banded together and helped each other out. And that's why I'm Labour. Because we know that it's not okay for just a few to do all right. We have to help everyone rise. The NHS, the minimum wage, we have always been the party of big ideas to lift everyone up. And now we need to do it again. I've listened to people from across Campbell and Peckham. They're worried about the cost of living, the lack of homes they can afford. They feel that our schools and hospitals are at breaking point. They want change. Harriet Harman blazed the trail for women, standing on her shoulders. I want to be Campbell and Peckham's next MP so that I can bring big ideas to Labour to make this change a reality and move mountains for this community. I've spent the last five years leading a charity that develops ideas that could transform our country. Free childcare for all, a living income so everyone can live well. A Green New Deal. Ideas I will always fight for because I know who I am fighting for. I'm fighting for the kids that don't get a shot, for the parents who are making impossible sacrifices, for the people who are struggling to get by, the people who are Campbell and Peckham, I want to use my voice on the national stage as your voice to make your fight my fight so that together we rise. Baby, you are so beautiful, so beautiful. She clean like a picture, her eyes like a diamond. Soon as she step out of place, everybody knows it. The only way it will be, she clean like a picture, her eyes like a diamond. Soon as she step out of place, everybody knows it. The only way it will be, I don't feel love. I don't feel I don't fall in love, I don't get love Oh, hey, I don't fall in love You not the one we are not putting on me at Hey, yeah, my man So go now, host now, make it tell you mama say I don't care Hey, I don't fall in love See where she do walk out the bungalow See where she do spot the bungalow See where she do walk out the bungalow See where she do spot the bungalow She clean like a picture Her eyes like a diamond Soon as she step out of place, everybody knows it. The only way it got down, it feel like a picture. The eyes like a diamond. Soon as she step out of place, everybody knows it. The only way it got down, I don't fall in love. I don't fall in love. The only way it got down, I don't fall in love. I don't get love. The only way it got down. I said now you not the one we had to put on me yet. Nothing, nothing, no go ever able make up. Out more, baby girl. Not the way you hold me and it's from me body down, girl. Baby, come, mala, let me mala. Baby, come, mala, let me mala. Baby, come, mala, let me mala. Baby, come, mala, let me Baby, come, mala, let me mala. Baby, come, Baby, come, mala, let me Oh, 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 yeah, my baby. So, baby, come close and mala, let me Oh, yeah. She be like a picture. Your eyes like a diamond. Too much, she's the 
that not a place Everybody knows it Now I keep my thrill Feeling like a picture My eyes like a diamond Should I just step not a place Everybody knows it for take Mary to me for keep me company. Adama is finally back from the village. Oh, she hey. came back with a child. My teacher may soon find out you're not my brother. Stop coming to the school. You couldn't prevent the girl with the school and you come here and tell me she was a girl but she lost to the girl. If she's not a witch, I wonder what she is. According to the test results, your daughter is six months pregnant. Where's the baby? There's no baby. How can you be so heartless to yourself? Show the man who is responsible so that you can be free. Who is her husband? I'm not pregnant. You don't be go. <laughs> so see if you go allow me for take Mary to me for keep me company. Adama is finally back from the village. Oh, she hey. came back with a child. My teacher may soon find out you're not my brother. Stop coming to the school. You couldn't prevent the girl with the school. You come here and tell me she was a girl, but she lost to the girl. If she's not a witch, I wonder what she is. According to the test results, your daughter is six months pregnant. Where's the baby? There's no baby. How can you be so heartless to yourself? Show the man who is responsible so that you can be free. <laughs> who is her husband? I'm not pregnant. Now tell her, then tell me who I am and I'm the best. Come for you, tell me thank you. Eat up, see if you go allow me for take Mary to me for keep me company. Adama is finally back from the village. Oh, she hey. came back with a child. My teacher may soon find out you're not my brother. Stop coming to the school. You couldn't prevent the girl with the school. You come here and tell me she was a girl, but she lost to the girl. If she's not a witch, I wonder what she is. According to the test results, your daughter is six months pregnant. Where's the baby? There's no baby. How can you be so heartless to yourself? Show the man who is responsible so that you can be free. 
For take Mary, it's me for keep me company. Adama is finally back from the village. Hey. She came back with a child. My teacher may soon find out you're not my brother. Stop coming to the school. You couldn't prevent the girl with the school. You come here and tell me she was a girl, but you must be the girl. If she's not a witch, I wonder what she is. According to the test results, your daughter is six months pregnant. Where's the baby? There's no baby. How can you be so heartless to yourself? Show the man who is responsible so that you can be free. Who is her husband? I'm not pregnant. Hello, hello, family. Good evening, good morning. Depending on whose partner they will always defend yourself. Welcome to CRGM Media platform. We online program live on Facebook, YouTube, and other platforms. Welcome, welcome, welcome for our new A very welcome to Una and hope soon I will get a one. As always. Please, please, please share your experience. So, we platform, try for subscribe to the Facebook and YouTube channels. So, you will be the first list with um, alerts. On. And the good thing, I Gem Media. And we cannot thank you enough. Like we can always say, without Tuna, we don't get program. And in, CIA, in the CRJ Media platform, the people's platform, African stories told by shape the narrative for we. We they contribute in we own little ways for make sure, say, we push the African story. Because and I also improve our solutions. We believe in energy and will continue to push that positive energy until we all and achieve we aspirations then so we could talk as always today today get a slant for una now for now inside how the go they go um we don't use to the hard stuff we don't use to programs them the you know, conversations they waste on ten and day they make we get nightmares. But today, we want for take on to the entertain for come tell we own story and we get big people in us so for can help we tell this. But before I go into details, um I just follow now. T boy is on the other side, it will come uh, do 
and we'll see them as usual. So now me, T Boy, and we guess them. We get two guests now, as well as we get two fully. We go join we from other parts of the world. I think particularly in Nigeria for help discuss um, the conversation. So today for help moving forward. Um, T Boy, welcome to today's program. I'm out for the Intel Fan Bulemadu. T Boy, did it? You make style to different people there. Huh? <laughs> I just want to say hello tonight. Welcome to Sarah J Media Live on YouTube and Facebook again today. Now, a different platform, different day for how do you go to go inside? Look me, I look you. Now, different today. Like, what you must say. We we'll don't forget about all the mix and match of all the tension, tension, tension. We it only run for the past couple of months and year. But guess what? Them get for one nice bench now. But them are good right now. As you did learn the show, then defend for one other one when winner the table with them with the guy in Tapalapa. You know, see that? That's for manufacturing. But anyway. Tension, tension, uh, slack, and look me a looking program. So, today right. we talk about a uh, lot of stuff the way they happen within the movie industry in civil union, and also some of the things that we um they are of high concern to civil unions in the dark. I remember a couple of weeks or months ago, a year ago, Juma, we be the talk in the good do and pass. Eh? We might not know yet for me now for answer yes or no. <laughs> yeah. Even he sent. Go. I exactly. So for today's program, it's got a lot to do. We get concerned over in Sierra Leone, gender-based violence, domestic violence, rape, and all. See women in the suffer in Sierra Leone. We always they say let's talk about the women and gender issues on different platforms then but sometimes uh, are not too much comfortable to come and talk about some of these things because of the implications they really be in on. but i think today is going to be a different day and we try for highlights a lot of some of those stuff then in the movie industry you have to see one of the ways then for pass on positive message is either by reenacting some of the scenes or also making some of the trauma then we women in the good tune are Sierra Leone. We are things say many people are ashamed to talk about or they are scared to talk about it either because they've been victim or they've victimized other people but definitely today we get um some filmmakers then we come up from civil union nigeria and the uk in a very strong collaborative um set of putting things together and making sure that we all the reality of some of the gruesome harm then we some people then they do to certain people in civil union especially women so today, a movie premiere launch discussion. We have to say we need for bring down to the people of Sierra Leone all over the world in different communities. So Juma, I will stop here for so far before I make my first introduction. So I'll go back to you. All right, thank you. And as Tiboido highlights the program, you know, for first I want to say because um, I like, I like to watch film, I like movies and all of that. I like African stories. I watch, even if I'm not in, I go there to watch things because those stories are stories that I relate to, you know. So, it's uh, important uh, you know, what happen in our society is just unique with Sierra Leone or you know, countries them as well. So, I am very excited, and the reason being for see a collaborative work with Leonian, Nigerians, and diasporans then coming together and doing we get for a real life story. The things that we can talk, some of the issues that we can talk about, we can feel say not just a myth, you know, not just some conspiracy theories, but some yeah, some of us are victims, some yeah, you know, with victims or related with so it's this movie where they talk about today it's an eye opener for some of their issues then they but before i go far to t-boy we get guests some of the guests and our people they will sabi where we hail 
they will three and some other one they will get for Sabi there as we go along. So T boy, over to you. Um introduce them for me and I'll start the <clears throat> Well, thank you very much, Juma on some of the things they would always get concerns over on this particular platform over the years and I feel about these things and make it real so that people can understand exactly what are some of the consequences them we women in the face now salute we get some studio <clears throat> catch me to go to first because I'm thinking me to go to King catch much more because I'm not for talk all the was I be I'm not catch me to for nothing but I Okay. Okay. Oh, T boy, T boy, before you call <coughs> the name, before you call the name, would they get um we audio break in the audio and the way how you might set or please try for be consistent so then would they how them yeah. Hey Jumana, you know my own business in the studio media UK say most of what thing would happen right now will be um slightly different from the norm as soon as i can see today i am in my different agbada things you know okay definitely right, go ahead um are they observe well ask them if the audio clear now please well i think so for audio clear, introduce me first guys for today's show and I mean, see if I call him at the gay but I think the guy understand what's in a gay But if you put in a gay say what he talks, I can't call him and you go give me a Welcome to the show, viewers. I want to introduce you to Anthony. Okay, on my throat when I when I pronounce this name. I know, I know it's been a while, but I want you to tell the viewers who you are. I will say you know, Salon Nigerian now. So tell people who you are. Let them know exactly who it is in the studio today. Anyone? Okay, me and Tony. Um, <laughs> Tony Linton, actually, because the other name will make me really give. That will make you, like, give me a game. Me and Salon, yeah, I can, I can call myself Salon Nigerian because I don't, I live in a Salon. I've just spent a lot of time with Salon. I've done a few things there. I don't work. Uh, with Concord Times newspaper, I used to manage Concord Times newspaper. I don't do a lot of entertainment at Salon. Um, I did the industry, a few people know me. Um, I was involved in Miss University, me and my friend Fidelis, when I'm one of the uh, we will be defamation of Fidelis in the course of this program. I will be starting Miss University in a Salon, um, and we'll do it subsequently, uh, do it consistently for, for about four years or so, okay, or five years. And uh, then before we left, um, um, and then we we'll do science quiz and shows in the stadium and all that, and all of that. So now this, this, um, that's that's the really right. Okay. To... I know. What's not the experience like staying in almost a decade now, if I would say, or more than a decade? Well, it's a country where I don't adopt. A very long time, my, even with Nigeria, they know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, to Nigeria, but they go salon like almost twice every year. So, the salon means use, you know, the salon I grew up to be. Because when I came to Australia, I was young, in my early 20s, and salon I grew up to be. Okay. My, so, the salon, you know, me. Yeah. Because in the early 20s, like, we will say now you can now be home, but no, no, yeah, it's not home for us because definitely we have to make do with salon. We can already, we believe, say most of what we do get for end, we can already benefits get for commerce from anyway. So I'm not saying, tell so us a little bit before we come to the next guest. We all money wait for you from. Yes, uh, we we for set up a company in Sri Lanka, Solid Productions. What we want to do is that we want to try to use this business for for shoot movies, and we want we want focus on movies where there are social issues. We not just want to do any movie. We want to movies where there are issues. Okay, uh, which is why this our first project was focused on gender based violence. We to do things on different things, um, drugs, drug abuse, and all of this prostitution eventually in the future. So. Um, 
and then we don't get this new project. This the first project where we believe say um, it will answer a lot of questions. Um, and then when people they watch and they will not say, okay, this like like uh, that you must say not to miss some of these things happen. And yeah. this, I mean, if you tell somebody this story, like, <coughs> they will actually feel say na na something will not will not possible. You know, but unless you actually hear it from somebody way it happened to you, like that lady will tell you the story. You know. So it's um it's a good thing and after this one we'll get to do other projects as we've been discussing. So yeah. Okay, well that's good. I think it's good a little bit issues they are so happy to see on our for highlights in the movie making industry. Um what in the movie making industry tell us or something we we still get a way for grow or what do you think? Yeah, I think it's um it's those days when when I visit alone and if you compare that thing and this time is this the state you said the way dinner is better than that that that's um, okay. Those days. I think there are various influences we can see people coming from different places from Nigeria, from other places as well. They can they can influence how the movies are produced. Um, a lot more producers now are going to turn and see a lot of young boys editing and you know get producers and all of that. So okay. uh, I think it's growing, but it's not there yet where it should be. But then it, it's made some good progress. All right, thank you very much, for yes, You just listened to Tony yeah. and Anthony don't tell you a little bit more about himself and about the civilian industry, the film industry specifically, and some of the issues they were afraid to say they go around within the community they were afraid to say a concern to all civilians especially civilians in the diaspora because we spend possibly our entire life campaigning for justice for some of these things that are happening in Sierra Leone where things say many people need to give a blind eye to well we the cancel the person in self self the mami self self today we have boss and then I ask her I say hold on a sec hold on you again let me tell you who I be. Over to you. <laughs> okay, uh, family, Una, good evening, good morning, uh, good afternoon, depending on where you are. My name is Nahine Tabawa, aka Eta, aka Yabo. Ah, aka Yabo. Yes. An actress, uh, producer, um, a content creator, uh, an activist, the series of Your Lives Matter, uh, uh, the pageant producer for Miss Manor River Union International Beauty Pageant Show. I bet if I give you a business card, you won't be able to put all those. That's right. <laughs> 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 Good. So tell me. And the Tabawa Salon Lives Matter before coming to the actual issues itself. We cannot foresee you just touched down today. Yeah. Um, from Freetown and you are now in the UK. Tell us about your journey. What was it like to leave the show? I know you've been to so many other countries than we inside the world, inside Africa, where I don't foresee you don't go. But what was it like coming to London for the first time and you're thinking, okay, are the kind of this place where you don't make all kind of noise for? Share your experience. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think I didn't have, I was not expecting anything. So because I don't be expect anything, so so far I don't see uh, I am excited or I am disappointed or anything. But the fact is, I'm just normal. I'm just uh, is as if I don't even left saloon. Ah, no, no, that's why. Because no, the thing is, mm -hmm. now from hotel I just go. I mean, from airport I just go to hotel. You understand? So today, today, I still they process the whole thing. Okay. The only thing I will tell you, the difference is that, that the day I've now tell Kai, I still they hope for let person blow horn. Uh -huh. I don't get it. I don't hear you horn. It's all <laughs> the long journey. I'm like, ah, why not hear you horn? At least me na salon piquet don't can hear you the noise Pong. and all that. Yeah, I don't hear you. But the only thing is, I mean, it's such an amazing feeling being here this evening, this morning. Uh, uh, you guys picking me up at the airport, uh, driving through, and all that. You see, other man country, the way how they work puts policies in place for make it look so uh, different. You understand to the point that you can't even process 
it say okay where am i and i process the whole thing why for the happen here this way and why my own place is like na hell i come out am i still alive and all that like processing the whole thing and all that but it feels good to be here no no i'm pala and i'm saying not the same thing no more no no i know now i'm pala in two bedrooms and pala is two different things and all that yeah so um Eta and Eta, so no lives matter. The Yabo and all that. These are all different people and all that, but one person and all. And it's about why it's uh, now this go getter, very humble. Uh, we believe in God and we are uh, putting priorities in place. No, see, now applying in commons. Very, very proud of that. So, say, pay 15,000 years, come on, apply for car, Twitter, and all that. And uh, that's done, the guide are all throughout, and all that. And uh, and it's about uh, this calm actors and all that. <coughs> and this humanitarian. Yeah, yeah anyway. <laughs> and this humanitarian, and all that. We don't use um, in position a society for give back to society, whether or not in uh, advocacy we the advocate to the uh talk to big sis etta uh the 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 shows that we get in our schools and all that the so social clubs that we get in our schools so talk to young people then okay. on teenage pregnancy and different issues and drug and and alcohol abuse and all that that is and uh, it's about uh and it's about uh this uh actress we uh cc uh, society don't get so much. The country is really don't get so much. A need for using voice for advocates for change. We will bring come uh, the development we all want in our and all that. Uh, and it's about uh, now this uh, person where they create content for uh, raise awareness on social issues and ranging from uh, teenage pregnancy, drug and alcohol abuse, and most especially good governance over the years and all that. Uh, now the pageant producer for Miss Manu River Union, Guinea Library Radio, Ivory Coast, beauty pageant show we they do with women empowerment in capacity building. Uh, we not to just uh, say pageants, pageants as in beauty, beauty pageants. Now pageants, we at the end of the day, the winner, they tour the Manu River counties in okay. and uh, I mean, talk to in, motivate women and inspire them in capacity building, give them a start, start up kids in uh, the church, depending on the platform where the winner win. Uh, we last winner in platform agric agriculture. So, like, we reach out to the Manor River countries uh, and register commercial uh, sex workers, uh, where we register them into cooperatives uh, and give them start up kits then for agriculture and all of that. that's any eta by and all. So eta uh eta is eta. So eta na the mixture of <laughs> Oh <laughs> nah, okay, so now nah, nah, <laughs> this is the eta uh, and eta now nah, the camp person this is the eta I know. Eta is the actress you understand you don't know I mean they switch with double personality switch, and all, yeah, yeah double personality and all right. that and all, but that's still the same person and all that and, and uh, so far I think that's just and it's a brand okay uh, uh and the album okay you have on people that can ask me this question I don't know even if I still have as the album is the album is just the album the album like this me imaginable frame we are they talk you to? don't give it in yes <laughs> you don't give it in <laughs> Okay, my, so Yabom. Me as my, no, no, we don't have Yabom. Uh, is, Yabom, at that point, they that already they wake, they talk to uh, Hereta Bawa. And uh, Monjama in Padina, in a Yabom. Yabom, at that already wake, Yabom, Saro, Saro business, everything where they happen. Whether na a CEO, can go away, the chief, in the country, I put you on a boy, I ring go in business there, or the two way government, you know, the two way, you might have done a Yabom. Uh, that day different for her different for uh, Eta. That day na monjama in party na na yabo. Okay. Uh -huh. But anyway, for, it's yeah. good that I don't I don't know the difference between in Wetabawa, Eta, and Yabo. Yeah. Sometimes I struggle to pick up who I'm actually talking to, whether I'm talking to in Wetabawa, whether I'm talking to Eta or Yabo. But now I know, I know the sequence of anything with the camera. No, person, this not this. Yeah. But anyway. I know you've been involved in so many gender issues in Sierra Leone. Um, 
issues against women, things that are not in favor of them in terms of abuses and all that stuff. How you feel where this concept of this particular movie, Virgin Mary, come like your desk and say, well, this is what we want to do from Tony and the other guys um, to say we want you to be part of this. How you feel as a civil union and as somebody we don't work relentlessly for make sure see some of them people also gain some amount of justice? How you feel? I think that's why I am here today. Uh, first and foremost, I want to use this opportunity for thank George Luis, uh, a cameraman, uh, SLBC, one of the oldest current people <coughs> there. And uh, the executive producers and Fidelis uh, Tony, and of course me, able director uh, for this brilliant piece of work. I remember when the director called me and we had the meeting, the first meeting we would get for do this movie and all. I was busy then turning the video on set for another film, so he told me, uh, "Say we need for me to drive me time." He explained the story for me. I fell in love with the story. Even without knowing, say, this is not a friction. This is not a real-life story. Right. You know, be telling me for saying a real-life story. Uh, I mean, you just explain and all that. So, and I told him, I said, you don't even know the opportunity. For me, this is an opportunity to make my job easy. Because this is what I do every now and again. I know the, uh, the amount of awareness that I'm raising concerning women and girls' empowerment, in capacity building, uh, gender-based violence, inequality among women and girls and all that. And if things then like this, they happen, even when we they talk, things like this still they happen in Sierra Leone. You stay here, cases of six-month-old baby don't rape, they don't rape and all that. Even when we get the, 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 the emergency courts for, for, for uh, rape and all that. Yet still, we know they get nothing. We've had Khadija in case nothing came out of it and all that. So if we they get stories then like this, now you have mothers and because one difficult is where we all begin. Rape cases is not cases that we mama then they discuss with you. It's a taboo. Right. We know they grab up with mama then they talk about sex talk to me. Now, even FLE, the way they be the teacher in a school, they're not teaching that anymore in schools and all that. So it's difficult to have conversations like this, even with who they go to and our schools and all people picking it. We probably, they don't have this opportunity for talk with their parents and but then they are talking to them. You understand? Every now and again. I mean, it's, it's crazy. You understand? So when I had this opportunity for me, I jumped. I jumped on it because I saw it as a huge, huge different plots or even what they do the social issues and all but i don't ever do a story like this i don't produce a story like this this is not a friction this is telling somebody's story not a picking telling story this is a grown-up married woman it means it missing we advocates we're getting there right. you understand for them my mother they come out now they talk say i am a victim I'm part of it. How can we bring change? How can I explain my ideals so that we can put it out there? Uh, uh, so it goes on as an example. Other women, they not go go through. Uh, you understand? We can be. How can I be a voice to that voiceless hotel and say all is not lost? You understand? So that that thing they not for the CC. I am going to be part of history. I'm going to be part uh, of something as huge as this for get an opportunity for tell somebody a story all that's why we don't tell we own stories there and all i mean from a different perspective and all that we're not, not mere thinking sometimes but this this is somebody coming with the first time information say this is me this is the proof of me this is what i went through i was raped not to just rape to he has to do a rape he has to do with i i, I mean me a, a community you understand me, family and all that, neglecting me, abandoning me and all that, and they not believing, say, yes, I was raped because me and a woman, girl picky at that time, my voice not going to be heard and all that. So that was uh, an, an opportunity given to me by the director and, of course, the pre executive producers there and all that we put the money for that but most especially the director we believed in me even when you know be ever know me from nowhere you know ever work with me know nothing just for mere recommendation from judge Louise and all that you watch and say no you understand and by talking to me say and say no this is the right person for the job and all that and so i i was excited and still am i'm very very excited to have been 
part of this project. I think uh, in me, how many years in my career and all that, this is my baby project and all that. Okay, and it's there to me. Well, I'll go to Juma. Juma, now that um, it's, our, uh, and it's a bar, I make mention of the director and all the executive producers in this particular project, I would like you to take over and bring in the other people that we have online and introduce them to the audience and look we hear from them and see what's in that they want to take on this particular project. So over to you, Juma. Thank you so much, T-Boy, and we studio guests, um, Tony and um, Henrietta Bawa, Eta, and Yabom, all combined, one pot. You know, thank you, thank you so much for, you know, coming to our platform to share your experience and for talk about this real life, um, you know, story we on the enact. So at least we'll use them for not just entertain, but educate, inform, and raise awareness on the issues around gender-based violence, abuse, and all of those things, particularly when it comes to picking them. So I'll go over to um, the director. We are lucky to have the director um, joining us from, um, you know, um, not he's not, you know, in the studio at the moment, but he's joining us via phone. Um, Justin, welcome to um, our CRJ Media platform talking about the movie Virgin Mary, and the UK premiere. Welcome. Thank you. All right, all right, thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself, um, Justin, and then, you know, you as a director, um, you know, the project, you know, how long it took you to um, put this together, how long it took you to shoot everything and get it edited and all of that. And what does it feel like that, you, you know, you'll be doing your first premiere in the UK? Okay, so my name is Justin Edet. I'm a film director, and I'm the director of this movie, Virgin Mary. So um, just for you to know a little bit about my connection with Freetown, I've been visiting Freetown since 2008. You know, even while um, Tony and co, we are still having the uh, uh, Miss University, I was the one bringing all those actors and musicians to Freetown back in the days. So, you know, I have this connection because the way the town is, uh, the calmness, the character of the people, the, you know, Freetown mm -hmm. is just a place that I fell in love with since the first time I visited. But on this particular um, trip, the last time I visited, I should be last year. I came for an event and the hotel I was staying, I met this lady, you know, this Mary Camara, and she told me she actually wanted to tell me a story. So when she narrated the story to me, I felt that it's not something I should even leave Prita and come back. There was a need for this story to be projected, you know. So I spoke to my friends, Felix and Tony, and they were also excited about the story. The whole story took us like, let's say, um, a month and two weeks for the filming itself. Then the post-production took us like another two months, you know, before everything was concluded. But where we are now, I'm more excited because um, I never expected that the movie was going to be this big. With the feedback I'm getting from my own end, people are really interested people just want to collaborate people want to use this movie on their platform they just want to you know showcase this movie as a matter of fact after uk now i know we're going to be having another premiere in freetown and some set of people are already approaching me from toronto in canada they would like to premiere again so it means that this movie might not even be released till maybe like march because we really need to screen and get you know, enough feedback before we can release to all platforms, you know. So basically, this this movie has just for now that it has not been released, people just seeing the trailer, people seeing the theme of the movie, they are already feeling the impact of it, like people need to start speaking out, you know, when anything that has to do with gender-based violence is something people should not keep to themselves. Rather, people should start talking. It's a way of healing, I suppose, you know. So basically, 
this is where we are now. And on Friday, we are primarily in the UK. That's a good start for me, you know. Okay. Yeah, and thank you again for the opportunity for us to talk about this movie on this oh, platform. Th yeah, thank you, Justin. And also, you know, you've been referenced a lot by Henretta um, at the studio as well as Tony. Um, so, Henretta mm -hmm. was, you know, I don't know, is it just a coincidence or you've been following her work? because she's been involved in, you know, gender-based um, advocacy or issues around, you know, okay. abuse and all of that. So were you following her work for you to... Okay, so I have some questions to say about that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so um, um, before now, mm -hmm. I have not really seen a lot of uh, Sri Lankan movies before my last visit to Free Town. But, you know, when... Okay, I think we lost Justin there for a minute. Um, his audio possibly will join us back. Um, if you're watching Say Gem Media Live, uh, we have um, in our studio, in our London studio, uh, yeah. Tabawa, Tony, and T Boy there. Um, Justin, are you back? I'm here, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, continue. Okay, so um, I, I, I don't know where this happened, but let me take it from top again. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't really know much uh, Sri Lankan movies before the last time I visited, but when I decided to film, I contacted my friend George Lewis, and the way the the way he recommended um, the Eta lady, she told me she was a wonderful actor and cool. But when I spoke to her, you know, when you, as a director, you, I, actually I'm trained by New York Film Academy. And okay. You, yeah, and for you to be a good director, you have to have a course on acting for film, um, cinematography, editing. You have to do every other subject, you understand, but the major has to be the directing. So when I spoke to her, even the way she was talking, she didn't know she was already acting because she went into character immediately <laughs> when I was explaining, narrating the story to her. The, what she's telling you now is 100% correct. She initially it was about the negotiation but when i told her about the story she wasn't even talking about money again it was about the story itself she wanted to be part of it 100 percent. she was even suggesting a few things you know so i knew she was um, the right person to work with and again while we are filming i just want people to come to the cinema and see the movie and she acted she did so well even from the trailer you can see how she was overwhelmed and stuff like that so i was really impressed and then um, i don't the fact i've not seen a job before this particular production is nothing at all i was able to make a very good decision because i don't know if any other person would have played that role better you know so, mm. so yeah right okay yeah. awesome thank you so much um, i'll get back to, i'll come back to you shortly but i think we're joined by you know fidelis now fidelis welcome yeah uh, Thank you very well, much. Welcome to CIGEM Media and viewers. We have the other executive producer, Fidelis, joining us. And Fidelis, so tell me, why did you put your money, you know, this project? Yeah, um, the reason why we put our money is, um, you know, just like um, uh, the director said, the story. Um, it's very touching. Uh, the story is something that has to be told. Um, and, um, you know, we know what the social issues are concerning uh, gender based uh, violence and, you know, abuse. So it's natural that, you know, um, Get it to um, hear that kind of story, you will be moved, and you know, you want the story to be told. And uh, it, it came natural for me. Okay, all right. Well, thanks for letting us know. Um, I'll go back to, the, uh, to our studio guests, uh, Tony and Henretta. And Tony, so tell me, because they mix and ask with you and English, you can get different, you know, people like that. Um, you don't do salon, you don't work in a salon, you know the, um, you know, culture there and all of that. 
was there at any time that you were hesitant to actually you know work on this project to say yes i'm going to put my money in this because this these are these are issues that are serious but again sensitive you know depending on where you are you know you it can cost you your life even talking about it so was there at any point that you were like how you know in two minds is this something that i'm supposed to do or no were you hesitant at any point not at all um no i wasn't um first of all the director is someone that i trust uh Fidelis has been um friend and partner for business partner for a very long time um my, we were teenagers when we met. We, we went to the same university in Nigeria and all of that. So we've been friends for a while. So when they when this came about, it wasn't and uh, so many other reasons. First of all, um, anything that has to do with the feminine, the gender, the female gender, I do have um, a very close. Um, I hold that 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 to heart because um, I used to. Uh, when I was in Freetown, um, I used to do science quiz, you know, and that was born out of the fact that once I was trying to write an article on, on science and technology, I went around the schools and I realized that we have more boys in science-related subjects than girls. So based on that, I, I registered a company, an NGO, and I approached a few banks, a few organizations. I had one of those banks, FIB, sponsored me for three years just to sensitize women, you know, to do to come back to science and mathematics and stuff like that. So I've always had that um, soft spot for anything that's related to, to women, to girls. So when this came about, it was, you know, um, just like Fidel said, it was natural. Uh, I wanted to jump on it to, to promote, you know, that fight against gender-based violence. So I'm not even within the alone. Yes, locally in Sierra Leone, I also to go beyond Sierra Leone. I wanted to re recreate that narrative so we can start to discuss it again, even at the international level, which is why um, a few months ago I reached out to the head of UN Women in Sierra Leone. Uh, we've been having some communication because I specifically told her, look, the reason why I reached out to you is because I want you to help us to propagate this story beyond Sierra Leone. We just don't want this to end. To say, tell your partners, people that you work with, let's you know, push this uh, story um, than Mary Kamara told us. And she's, she's been very um, yeah, she's been very positive, you know. She's going to get involved when we do the Sierra Leone premiere and then from there we, we know where, where we go from there. So yeah, it wasn't, um, wasn't difficult at all. Alright, all right, thank you. And Henrietta, um, you you highlighted her earlier and you know that this project is close to your heart and we all know the reason why but more so i would say in the last couple of weeks we've seen front page newspapers you know highlighting issues of sexual and gender based violence you know and so this project now you're premier premiering in the uk um you know, the timing is just, I'll not say it's a perfect timing because these are unfortunate situations, but at least, um, is this a reason why you think people should go out and watch the movie and engage with the story and at least try to propagate the message there? I think uh, the timing is right uh, for people to come out in their numbers. Sometimes it's not just for... Uh, uh, them to take the message home. It, when we did the visibility studies uh, last two years, we realized growing up in Africa, out of 10 kids, like female and all that, uh, eight don't go through uh, sexual abuse, gender-based violence, and inequality and all that among women and girls then. Uh, once you grow up in Africa and all. So this is just uh, a reflection of an African child, like what we've all gone through one way or the other. If you haven't been through it directly, you've been through or you've had stories from your cousins, your friends and all that. And uh, issues of sexual harassment 
uh, sexual penetration, sexual uh, violence or rape, uh, gender-based violence and all that. These are things that happen within our communities, in our homes. Right now in Sierra Leone, it's so sudden that most of the cases that you hear every now and again, you hear stories about uh, kids being raped by their own dads, by their own uncle, their brothers, and all that. And this is not just today. These are issues that we've been dealing with in silence for the past years. And it's just now that the awareness is there and we're, we're talking about it. So I think that it's timely for people to go there and reflect on the things they've been through uh, when it comes to gender-based violence, sexual violence and all that. Uh, inequality among women, uh, uh, rape, you understand. Let them reflect and see reasons that, okay, it's time we speak out it's time to take the lead in the campaign uh, uh, to stop gender-based violence and rape in Sierra Leone. I think the time is right, although it's so unfortunate because the situation is not something everyone wants to talk about and all that. But the time is right, and I think this is an opportunity uh, to all our African communities here in the UK, most especially Sierra Leoneans, this is our own story. It's something that happened to a Sierra Leonean lady. It is our story. I remember a few years ago, I had an opportunity to uh, go for a conference. And so I was telling the people, uh, I mean, uh, that I was from Sierra Leone and all that. The lady looks at me and says, Sierra Leone, yeah, how are people living in Sierra Leone? I said, what do you mean? No, I watched the movie Blood Diamond. I'm like, yeah, there are people living, we're not living on trees and all that. I mean, we're not living in huts and all. But this is just to tell you, this is just an insight. If you don't get to tell your own story and you leave it in the hands of other people to tell, they will tell their version of your story. So now we have an opportunity to tell our own story. So I think the timing is right for us to come out, be part of this change uh, for us to come out and watch this movie so that when we go back home in the in this UK community, you understand, we have cases of this every now and again we, amongst our Serenian youth, you understand and of course back home, so for all of us who have platforms on social media, whether you have platforms on social media or not, after watching this movie, I know you will be obliged to say yes, this now my responsibility, I'm going to be part of it because we don't just want to let people then can watch the movie. We want, after the movie, let people then take the oath, say yes, they will be part of the change for put a stop to gender-based violence and rape uh, by uh, talking about this movie now every Saturday and the day and pushing it so that we all will be part of this change for stop gender-based violence and rape in a surreal. Awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. And I like that last part, you know, emphasizing that it's not just a movie for entertainment purposes, mm -hmm. but it's advocacy, it's information sharing, it's education, and also call to action. Mm -hmm. That's me, you, and everybody else. We have to participate if we have to end, you know, gender-based violence in our communities. Mm -hmm. So we are not limiting it to Sierra Leone but our communities, our homes, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. So let me go to um, Justin quickly before I hand over to T-Boy. Um, Justin, as a director, and that's for the uh, pro, um, executive producers as well, um, you know, we are used to now, um, of course, um, Nigeria is leading when it comes to quality movies. You know, we know what Nollywood used to be like maybe 10, 20 years ago, but now... It's a different animal, all, all on, it, on its own. You know, the movies coming out there is quality. So I just wanted to ask you a question to provoke a conversation here. Why didn't you decide to choose, um, you know, actors, known names from Nollywood, but you decided to have a mixed cast for this project? Yeah, because... Um, um because the story itself is originally from, from Freetown, and I um, actually wanted the story to be as real as possible. 
So, apart from the stars like Eta and Co, I actually went to schools, you know, and um, we had auditions in three different schools, secondary schools. I spoke to their parents, I spoke to the principal because I wanted um, even the community, the people to be involved in the project itself. And I did not just talk about that, the food, the lifestyle, the language. I tried to make sure that everything was in the movie just to show the originality of the story. And the reason also why I invited Aiko Bonna from Nigeria, at least, you know, so we can have international phase two and the movie can go beyond um, Freetown, you understand? So it was intentional. And the reason was just because we wanted it to be original. Let it be on like um, at least 98% um, Australian movie, you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for um from the um, executive producer point of view, uh, Fidelis and Tony, um, do you think that's a wise you know decision to make? Um, do you think that will help with distribution and you that will help for this movie to stand the test of time, or it will just be something that will phase out after uh, you premiere after they watch it a few times? Fidelis, yeah, uh, uh, for. Yeah, from my own point of view is, uh, you know, um, um, having a director coming from Nigeria, um, it would be, you know, knowledge um, impartation for, you know, Sierra Leone, uh, to boost the Sierra Leone industry. You can see, we all know that the industry is still quite young. There are a lot of challenges, you know, um, quality of movie, quality of of um, of the of the entire production. So it is. It was wise that you know we put the sets here in Freetown, Sierra where we can have experienced people, have influences like the big uh, Nollywood. Um, star um, IK coming in to you know be a role model to come and influence the industry so um Salo, Salo, there's no other better place than to um, have it here uh, you know the scenery the beaches the is wonderful is a lot that we can sell you know that can help boost the tourism industry, help boost the movie industry, uh, be a catalyst, you know, to, you know, um, for the industry. So um, we hope, you know, with this uh, production, it will sell Ceylon globally to the international uh, community and um, other um, producers, other directors, will begin to see Sierra Leone in another light. So it's, it was deliberate. Um, if we get it started, you know, um, the future will be bright. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, over to you, um, you know, uh, there T-Boy and Tony and uh, Henrietta. Welcome again, viewers. Welcome again. You see, Juma, Juma, you make us feel like I say, I'm not even in a show. I'm like, Disney. But anyway, that's Juma for you. In case you're not able to talk, but it's a lot of to me or to me, Juma don't come back. I don't have to you back. I just, I just did tell them what made them understand. Not to me or they be the same as me, but Juma. But anyway, and also we don't go around this movie in terms of um the kind of thing that we will not have for projects on. Um, I believe say to shoot a movie like this in Syria then is very difficult. Um, I want to go to the director's point of view. Do you? I know you spent some time in Sierra Leone. Do you actually see this particular scene itself unfolding in front of your eyes, as in the reality of the story that has been told by somebody who has gone through some of this ordeal? Do you actually saw the the reality of this that this is something that is happening in Sweden? How does that make you feel to direct something that someone has gone through, and this is like a norm 
within that society. How do you feel to be in that position to direct such a movie? Yeah, um, uh, I have to be fair. I don't think it's equal to uh, Freetown, Australia. Uh, this is a global issue, you, you know. It's just that um, it happened that I was in a place where I could not just let go, you know. The way the lady met me and um, the way she narrated the story, I felt, no, I should be involved. Everything is not just about money at those points. This is uh, a story that people around the world should know about. That actually moved me, you understand? But also, professionally speaking, whatever it is, as far as the, uh, filmmaking, I'm interested, you understand? Uh, whatever it is, as far as not something negative, not something that after filming, people are going to start killing each other as a result of my story, you know, I wouldn't want to be involved in that. But as far as it's going to have a positive effect, I'm always interested and willing to, you know. So it, it, it was just a, um, a, a normal story. It's, it's not something new. And this story is not peculiar to free time. It's a global issue. It's just that uh, it, it, uh, people are not really speaking out. We are talking about West Africa and Central Africa, according to the global statistics. But now with this movie now and, you know, um, a lot of people are booking now. I think young people and even older ones that these things has happened to and have refused to speak because they are considering maybe people will see them. Uh, so this actually happened to you. And a lot of uh, information are going out there and uh, people are beginning to speak up. And it's a perfect time for us to contribute our own quota. So I feel good about it, that it happened anyway. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Director. I'm going to Fidelis on a quick one. Fidelis, I know you're now in Freetown. I know you've been there for some time and you've gained a lot of experience working there as a professional in your own career path. And I know, I will not say you see things like this unfolding in front of your eyes about cases of things that are happening. And within your practice as a media practitioner, you have seen a lot of these cases that have come through your desk as in cases that possibly you might want to go and investigate. Do you think that gives you the urge to say, well, I am going to make my own meaningful contribution in this way because I think this is something that is becoming something of a serious issue in civil union and we have to play our own part. What sort of conviction did you have before you actually said to Tony, we should be interested in this project and put our money to it? Yeah. Um, you know, I also, I also come from a... A, a media uh, background. Uh, I managed um, a new um, Coco Times newspaper for quite a while. So the stories are there, the statistics are there. You know, um, it affects everyone. Like the director said, it's not just a Sierra Leone thing, it's a global thing. But here in Sierra Leone, is getting um, rampant maybe because of more awareness, uh, more people are coming out um, to, to, to speak up. So the statistics tend to rise all of a sudden. And you can see um, you know, recently the uh, president um, declared a state of emergency on the issue. So, um, and here, if get also hearing a for sound um, um, story about it, you know, you know, it begs the question, you know, what can I do? Um, do we just fold our hands and let this be another story, you know, or we give voice to it and uh, let you know uh, the world um, know about it and you know, probably spark of more conversation around the issue. Okay. Um, thank you very much, Fidel, for that. I know, Eta, you from the Salon, Salon Lights Matter, and you've worked on so many other gender-based issues. Um, looking at this project itself, do you feel fulfilled? Like, all what you've been doing over the past couple of years in terms of highlighting the discrimination between women and the gender-based violence issues that you've showcased 
within your own community. You feel fulfilled by taking this one out of Sierra Leone and bringing it to the entire world for them to see exactly what are some of the cases that you've been talking about. And now you are playing an active role in a movie that depicts exactly what you've been going through in Sierra Leone. How does that make you feel? Uh, I am so, like I said, in, I mean, this is my baby. You understand, this project is my baby. <coughs> I feel very fulfilled. Uh, the, the fact that uh, our work are uh, being heard, the fact that the lady could come out and talk and explain her story willingly. She was willing for her story to be heard. It means that what we've been doing all this while, we're yielding results and all that. And for, uh, I mean, where I am right now, having this opportunity to be in the UK, taking this movie internationally and all that, I mean, it's huge. It's such a huge feeling. Uh, I know I just came. I've not rested, but I still have energy to talk about it, to go out there and talk about this movie and all that. That is to tell you how much this movie means to me and all that. That is to tell you how much uh, humbled and appreciative I am to the director for giving me the opportunity to be part of the project and allow me to be myself and play my role to the best of my ability. And of course, to the executive producers who put in their money to see that, okay, let's take us, I mean, let's take Etta <clears throat> on the ship, let's ride with this boat together and all that. So I'm very, very humble and I'm, I'm, I'm privileged to be here. And I'm fulfilled. Do, do you think people watching this movie is going to bring out a lot of people who will be coming out of the closet to say, I am a victim? Or I know somebody who's a victim. What sort of impact do you think this movie is going to create on the lives of people who possibly have gone through something like this or similar or know somebody? Okay, so on set filming, I'll tell you most times, my scenes, <coughs> once I'm done filming, I'll just go in the room. I think the director never asked me why I used to do that. You understand? Just after filming my scenes, I'll go to the room and all that. Sometimes I'll go to the room and reflect, like my character. You understand? This is no friction, you understand? When I was playing the role, I'm like, okay, how wicked can people be? You understand? I was very, very emotional playing the role. And in fact, that was what helped me out to deliver my role. And I played it as if I filled that role as if, I mean, that was no acting. You understand? You like, like I was in the, shoes of, in the, the shoe of that person at that particular time when the camera was rolling and all that. And I know that each and every Sierra Leone, it's not just a Sierra Leonean thing, it's a global thing. But anybody that will go out there, be it male or female, you understand? You will be moved, you will be related, you will be touched by that story. It's not just me, you understand? All the actors play their parts very well. They're amazing actors. From the lady that played Mary, the small Mary, big Lake Mary, the other roles, uh, 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 the other actors and all that, you understand? All these people played, they, are, they play their parts, you understand? To the point that if you go out and watch this movie, you'll be related, you'll be connected. I, I tell you, that all will be very, very emotional. People will be very, very emotional. That's why I'm saying let's get tissue for people out there. People will be touched to the point that they will have to ask and say, okay, when are you going to release that movie? We just need to have a copy of it and all that. Right. That is to assure the, 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 the fears of people that that movie is a life-changing movie to change stories of people and it will encourage a whole lot of people to come out and tell people um, and start telling their stories because it's a, it's a vicious circle until and unless parents come out and start telling their stories of how then they rape them and all that, accepting it, then picking and not be able to talk. And then that platform not go day, say sure. yes. So for me, this is an opportunity with that we all need to grab. Okay, so Tony, let me come to you quickly again. And I know um, you guys started the Miss University in Sierra Leone. And what this movie is based around is young girls. Young girls, young teenagers, young schoolgirls, young university students who possibly wants to look at a brighter future for what they believe in the future. So what sort of impact did you actually pick up from the Miss University days? You now know exactly what the situation was like during those days. We're talking about 10, 15 years down the line. And things have changed. And now we are coming into 
the 2020s, 2023 to come now, and then we also seen things have changed over that 10, 15 years period. Is the dynamic still the same to the way you saw it about 15 years ago when you were doing the Miss University and what it looks like right now? Do you have any kind of suspicion to say this was something that is ongoing since those days or has it escalated? I think it's pretty much the same because people haven't, which is why, which is one of the reasons for the movie, people haven't been speaking out. And if people don't speak out, you just, you know, they, it's, it happens from, age, from ages to ages. You know, so um, I don't think things have changed. I know, yeah, a lot more people have, have started talking out. Um, for instance, this lady who spoke to us, who gave us a story, that's a lot of courage for coming out to talk to us. But um, what I think is the impact, one of the, like the director said, if someone speaks out, it encourages other people to, to also speak out. And then when they speak out, then we are, we are attacking um, the menace head on. You know, you don't see that, okay, there's awareness among the young people, and then that then creates that bigger picture for us to, to create that narrative that we want, what, we, what we're trying to achieve. So I think, um, I think things haven't changed that much, you know, as a lot of time for what she's been doing, but we need a lot more people on board. We, need, we just don't want one person, you know. We need a lot more people speaking out. We need civil society organizations we need government agencies there's ministry of gender you know so all of these collective efforts will create more impact than just just one person you know so um yeah which is um, which is what we're trying to do uh, but for me i think things are still the same not just in Sri alone but across africa you know uh, there's the, the discrimination is still there. There's uh, gender, the gender-based violence. There's that big divide, you know, between men and women. Uh, women not being given the opportunity to actually achieve their potentials because of this, some of, some of these uh, social biases that happen. Uh, yeah. Okay, I know it might sound a bit scary, but it's it's, it's real. It's fact. Um, we have more people coming out to say, well. This has happened to me. This has happened to somebody that I know. Um, are you concerned about the amount of friction or the amount of arrest that this will actually create within the society of the culture that we have? And do you think will, you guys will be able to justify the fact that this has created a lot of awareness and there's going to be serious amount of arrest being made against people who are perpetrators just lying down there, not saying nothing? Are you concerned about the implications of what some of these things will bring up? No, I'm not concerned at all. I mean, that's what we want to <coughs> achieve. That's, that that's that's exactly what. Um, I have a personal experience in my own family. My sister, my big sister, was a victim of. It's not rape, but it's still domestic abuse, you know, which is gender based as well. And this sort of story has touched my heart, you know. Um, when I was born, she died, and we wanted, I've always wanted to, uh, anything that's had to do with this sort of issue, I wanted to get involved, you know. Um, so I don't feel that, I feel that people who perpetrate evil, uh, who commit crime, should be punished. You know, it's only when they get punished that the wider society learns the lesson. You know, um, mm. that's the only way to, to, to come the situation. The, the punishment, and then the awareness, and then uh, is that uh, well for the young guys? If 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 you if they start to get uh, that awareness from when they're small, then perhaps when they grow bigger and older, they won't go into this sort of this sort of thing. You know, they won't commit this sort of crimes. Some of, a lot of these big boys or the, the older people who commit these crimes were not aware. You know, they grew up with that. You know. They saw that bigger, other bigger ones when they were young, and they thought it was normal, you know, to abuse girls, to, to discriminate against women, and all of that. So yeah, the awareness goes for both men, and women, telling women to speak up, and then also telling the men, the young men, to that this is not okay. It's not okay. You know, it's not okay to do this sort of thing. This is this is inhumane. 
um, and then if you do it, you you're gonna be punished. This is not there's no impunity because a lot of people just do it and because girls don't speak up, All right? You know, they do use impunity. So yeah. Okay. So how do you think a lot has changed in terms of bringing justice to some of the work that you've been doing over the years in civil no, and what sort uh, of implication this will bring out? I think we're still there. We have a long way to go because all those things, I mean, it's a network, you understand, it's a chain. Us doing our part, the police playing their part, the justice system playing their part, that's the only way we'll have results at the end of the day because that sometimes I remember there was this case I was following up and all that. At the end of the day, the mama then came, community leaders came, begged the mom. She decided to take the child and they ran away. They sent the child to Liberia <coughs> and all that. That was it. That was the end of it. I mean, that was how and the perpetrators yes, work free. Work free and all that. And so now uh, the awareness that we're raising is not just for the victims. We're raising awareness for the victims, their parents, you understand. It's not just for them to speak out, but when they speak out as the parents, let us be willing and ready to uh, accept the situation and look for justice, you understand. And it's not just a, a awareness. The awareness will not be just limited to them. We want to bring along the community leaders because most times these are the people that, that spoil the case you understand these religious leaders and all that community leaders and of course the justice system the police will do their arrest but is that just it after one two days you hear that okay they don't release the guy what happens when you get raped when you get uh, uh, victimized when you're a victim of gender-based violence you get battered it's ha i mean you live with it for a long time for the rest Dying of your life for the rest, rest of your yeah. life that healing process doesn't come easily yes. it's not a day thing you don't get healed overnight you understand it takes forever for you to even get healing you know I, I mean so we want every sector to play their part once we're doing our part advocating and all that we want community leaders religious leaders to own it and say okay in our society in our communities we want to be part of this chain that is to say we'll talk to our kids both male and female yeah to see the need to behave rightfully and all that. And if the need arises, Father forbid, we will not come in between justice to prevail. You understand? We will let justice prevail. And for the police, when you arrest, make sure you do the right thing. We know you're not there to, 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 to give justice at the end of the day. Your job is to do the arrest. But when you do arrest, that is why we have emergency 24 hours court case. When you do the arrest, don't keep them in the police custody. How police effective custody. is that 24 hours court system? And that's another thing for another day. Because okay. up to now, you have a flagship program run by some top notch and all that yet so you know see that's another topic for okay. another day and all that but we're just saying let the police play their part let the justice system when these cases are taken to court let it be an emergency like the president declared let it be an emergency case and all but most of the cases that we've taken to court so far most times they get acquitted and all that because again we are constraints we don't have hospitals you understand if you have a i want to give kudos to rainbow initiative because they've been doing so much they've been giving for state aid to uh, uh rape victims and all that but that is not just enough we want uh, machines and all that we want an hospital wherein if you're raped you go there now they can detect that okay yeah, you are being raped and all that so we want institutions like that we want uh, uh institutions wherein if the uh, rape you like now but then, they will save homes. They will able to pull you there first. You go there now one safe home. Where you did there, you do go through mental healing and all that through that process. You then are we on until the case done. So they're not gonna go go beg you farm there. Then they forgive the case. You understand? So it's a, it's a, a network and all of everything. If we are to succeed in this fight, we need for for consider all the sectors they are creating the safe home for all the rape victims, they are gender-based violence victims and all that. We create that safe home for them, for go through the mental healing and all that. Uh, police and play them part, justice system play them part. Us, we play with part. Then we, we will help reduce the rates of gender-based violence and rape in Syria.
All right, thank you very much, Etan. Anthony, I think we've, we we don't talk too much about the whole concept of the movie, what it's all about, what are the impact, the implications of what can get for happen if something go wrong, what's going to be the outcome of the movie itself if people are going to watch it. So now, Tony, tell me a little bit about the premiere on Friday because what is happening on Friday is something that's going to be the first time in the UK for us to have a premiere where we will have one of the main characters here that is being part of the audience. Tell us yeah. what is exactly people should be looking up to and why do you think it's imperative that they should go and watch this premiere? It's, a, it's, a, it's not just within this film community. I now know you're speaking to a whole, a whole community, not just within our own yes. communities. Um, yes, you know, the, the movie itself, what it stands for is a global phenomenon. It's not even about black or uh, Africans. Even it, this happens among white people. So um, the movie, the essence of coming to watch the movie is for you to increase awareness. It tells you you are going to know, see a sense that some of these things that happen, they are not actually myths, as uh, the we say. They are not, they are, they are real. Some of these stories are, are, they are, they are unreal in the sense that you would think, you know, this kind of thing cannot happen, you know, but they actually happen. So when you when you come to watch the movie, you realize that, um, and then the movie the premiere is happening on Friday, twenty uh, first uh, October, which is That's now this Friday. This Friday, which is now just past twelve already, isn't it? Oh no, okay, <laughs> it's almost past twelve. So uh, we'll see, which is now tomorrow. Um, uh, it starts at eight thirty. Um, that's when you will have the red carpet. So people come and meet and greet, uh, take photos, and um, you get interviewed, you know, while you're here and what you're looking uh, forward to. And then at 10.30, we'll screen the actual movie. So as soon as the movie is finished, there's, for VIPs, there's an after party at, at the Ojeon Lounge. Um, by, and then the, the, there's going to, I mean, normally at, at the after party, you have food, drinks, and then, uh, meet and greet stars. Etta is going to be there, so if you want to take pictures and all of that, you you have the opportunity. And then, um, and then also music, good music uh, from Sierra Leone's finest DJ Do. Uh, Again for day there as well, so you can dance and dance, dance, dance the way. So, so give us the price range of what you will get for what and how much it's going to cost. Yeah. So the the regular ticket is twenty five pounds. The Ticket for VIP, the VIP ticket is fifty pounds, and the VIP will give you access to yes. everything that happens: the red carpet, uh, the premiere, and then the after party. Yeah, the after party, yes. Okay, yes. Well, that's good. Yes. And definitely, you have to be there because Eta is going to be there. But before I come to Eta on this one, mm -hmm. let me go to Juma and see what Juma, what thing Juma get for you with the all the with the guests they will get online. And definitely, you know, come back to me, and then I will come to Yabo. And say something, but something get far from next. Over to you, Juma. Yeah, thank you, T Boy, and thank you to we guest them, and thank you to the reviewers. Um, it's been, you know, an eye opener here, and it's good that these issues that sometimes we talk about on this platform, you know, now it's been documented um, for today, tomorrow, and for posterity. So we appreciate you guys so much for, you know, taking on this project. Um, not looking at just the monetary part of things, but doing something that will influence society, you know, in a positive way, telling story, being the voice of the voiceless, being a face for the faceless. So, but I get, I get, I get born for peak with uh, Tony <laughs> Fidelis and the whole production team, you know, and I don't know why you guys are just biased. Why did you choose to premiere this in the UK and not the US? Why? Oh, baby, <laughs> why? Oh, Tony, why? It's still not late if you coordinate it in Tony America. Tony and Fidelis, why? Why did you choose to do this for us? Huh? Let me tell you why. Okay, I will no, answer no, no, the question. No, Let me tell you why. Why are you Tony? Why are you? Okay, go on, Tony. It's over to you guys. It's always been. We are very open to, like, director said, someone is talking to us in, from Toronto. Um, mm -hmm. So we are open to, and uh, someone has spoken to us from, what's this name of this 
um, European, small European country. I forgot what the name is. Belgium, Holland, Germany. Well, they are they, they are not small. <laughs> like Luxembourg. 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 Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. So yeah, some of the from Luxembourg. He said he's going to book the cinema and he's giving us okay. all the logistics and modalities on how to premiere the Luxembourg. Um, so it is is open. We are not we are not ruling out the United States. Uh, if uh, if you can identify where, you know, obviously the US is big and you have so we can't premiere in all uh, all the states. So we need to premiere in a particular place. I would think okay. it will create more impact. Uh, I, a I, I'm, I, I have ideas already. Okay. We will share that off of camera. Okay. But we are still upset because we, you know. The U.S. is best in everything. So have to be I disagree. I disagree okay. with you on that. I disagree. Have to be a second pedo. I disagree. But all good. All good. All good. And again, the U.K. is known for championing issues relating to now you're talking and violence, and a lot of Sierra Leoneans out there are involved in the advocacy work, and I'm sure this will help to uh, 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 encourage them to do more. You know, so we, you know, I was just joking there, really. And to encourage the U.S. people not to, you know, miss out on this opportunity. But for you in the U.K., Una Wedena, U.K., Una, he always say, oh, good things, they know they come out from Sierra Leone. But look at something here, a project well put together, top-notch, where you will rate with any, any, any top, 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 top Nollywood movie. The Komot Salon, and when I get the opportunity for meet three in one, when I meet him at Tabawa, at Tabawa, and Yabo, at the same time, when I get able to take pictures, all that three in one person do, relate with them. Hmm? So don't miss out. You know, I come out, encourage non Sierra Leoneans to be part of this, you know, community on that day to not just watch the movie but to network. To um, share the story with your colleagues. So when we're going to uh, workplace, now on a break room, you'll be talking about these issues here, and then Sebeng will be for share with you as well. So I just wanted to say, you know, you guys are doing an amaz amazing job, and uh, please, 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 we are appealing to our people to come support, um, you know, the um, solid production. Uh, for this amazing job we they don't do. Over to you back, T Boy. Well, thank you very much, Juma. Just for both guests on what you say, um, I think, yes, we are of seem to have some of the best coming out of Sierra Leone to the UK first before it spread over the world. But I think you guys in America also are doing a lot. I know most of your areas of um, gender based violence supporting network of people who are doing a lot there in America also have tried very much hard in their own little ways to help to sort some of the problems that we are faced with in Sierra Leone. So I think it's a global issue, like everybody else is saying, but I think Sierra Leone is suffering a lot of that at the moment because it's been consistent and not much is happening about taking actions or the actions taken are not good enough because still people are suffering. And we all know gender-based violence is destroying the self-esteem of women. And when one woman goes through that, sometimes it filters down the family because it comes out, people say to you, maybe it's like a cross in your family. That's why all of you guys have been going through, or that's why they live in the honor because they don't cost on a family, or when I get some kind of demon within a family. So there's a lot of stuff happening within this particular issue. And I think it's good that you guys are highlighting it and making it sure that everybody has the feel of it. But in terms of production, what I think, coming from a production background, I think what I have seen so far is something that is totally different. We always complain about movies coming from Sierra Leone and all the stuff behind it, the camera work, the cinematography, the sound, the effect and everything. It used to be pretty much obvious to say, okay, you're going to be seeing some bang. But the sequence of what is happening right now, I think is slowly changing. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it is slowly changing. And we have influences of people like Eta who has been into the game for quite some long time. She's got her own experience in producing stuff and, or, and, and also working as, um, as an actress. But I think one thing we still are struggling with, like I said earlier on, when I look at your CV, I will not be able to feel it on the, on the business card. I have to flip the other side of it. But I don't blame you for that. Because the reason being, we are now starting to actually give away some of these roles and titles. That's why you guys are doing what you're doing now. Because... Previously, you will never see a producer, an actress, and an executive producer or a director. 
it all comes in one package. Mm -hmm. So at least we're now seeing the difference in how you're breaking all those rules and giving other people responsibility so they'll be able to yeah. do a lot of it, not just on their own, mm -hmm. but break the responsibilities, which means the production that you guys are having now in Sierra Leone is different from what it used to be like 10 yeah. years ago. Yeah. 10 years ago, is like a one-month show. Mm -hmm. And nobody would approach you to say, yes, I want you to do a film. It's you mm -hmm. that will say, I want so to do a, a film. It was a, port <laughs> it was a portfolio. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. exactly. exactly. Yeah. It's like a one-month show that runs everything. So that has been a change. And that is something that is reflecting on this particular movie. Just for the few bits of what I have seen so far. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Picture-wise, it's good. The quality of the sound is good. The dialogue is good. The emotional part of it is also good. I think everything that compresses this particular movie will represent it on its own. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at some of the things that we, we possibly enact in C. William to replicate a true life story, you might be thinking it's a joke. And for me, this film is going to create a reality story of people working and feeling like this has happened to me or I know somebody who has gone through this. So you're looking at a reality of what we always see in a salon, salon film mm -hmm. means our life is like a movie. Mm -hmm. So you don't yeah. really believe things like this are happening until somebody actually tells you the story. Mm -hmm. So the reality of what we'd always say yeah. in our program, say salon film, people don't understand that concept because some of these things that we see in movies are actually taking place in Sierra Leone. I am not saying it doesn't happen in other countries, but I think the rate at which we go now in a salon mm. is becoming more of a movie state, wherein everybody's an actor, mm. everybody's a director, everybody's a producer. So you get to see the reality of everyday activities. That's why I'm very happy that um, Solid Production is actually looking at issue-based movies. Mm -hmm realities of what happens within our community is when we start telling those stories, I think it will trigger some amount of reality in people's mind to say, hold on a sec, am I really watching a movie? Or this is something that possibly must have happened. I know somebody who has gone through A, B, C, D of what I'm seeing right now. So it paints a real picture in front of you for you to be able to see it. And the boy, difference... I, I, wanted to, I wanted to come in before you go to um, Henrietta and Tony again. Okay. You know, just on their issues, then the way you don't highlight, mm -hmm. you know, this is, you know, for the benefit of our UK uh, based um, Sierra Leoneans, uh, diasporans out there that will have the opportunity to go out there on Friday. I want to let people there understand say, you're not just going to watch a movie, you are going to be part of something which is a big change. You know, because if you now listen to the executive producer, the director of this movie, the, you know, lead cast and the, the two executive producers there, is that making the movie, they listen to one person's story and see how that has changed a lot of things or don't contribute in a lot of ways. Uh -huh. We have, um, you know, uh, our friends, friends of Sierra Leone, our Nigerian brothers, that decided to say, you know what, let's put our money in, you know, in this. Let's put our resources, let's put our expertise. Then bring somebody come in. When a high profile, uh, one of my best um, Nollywood actors come and be part, part of a cast, we don't come and mentor people along the way. You know, Henrietta Bawa and team don't decide for come UK, for can share that story, for come tell people, say, this is our Sierra Leonean story. You are telling our story, but this is our perspective. And look at how that contributes to the country and economy in their own small way. You say, oh, when I just move in, no. They spend, what, two months, three months, four months putting this together. Those cast or cast members possibly got paid, got stipend, or got some experience some way, somehow. And the distribution channel, everybody, go make small things. So it helps with the economy, it helps with the entertainment industry, it helps with culture and, you know, and tourism. It helps in a bigger picture. It brings out the quality that can come out, come out of Sierra Leone, the talent. Because for let our director, uh, uh, New York uh, um, you know, Academy 
trained director for getting confidence for work with Sierra Leonean actors then, both experience and non-experience, that tells a lot about Sierra Leone as well. So that is a reason why we mm -hmm. have to come out. Go out there, pay your 25 pounds, your 50 pounds, and be part of this um, history and project. Tiba, uh, now that's a one for art. All right, that I was beyond uh, just a movie. No problem. I will send it back to you because I would like you to go back to the online um, um, guests and yeah. ask so Justin, you with Justin, that and um, to this project. Justin, um, step aside right now. So Fidelis is there. Um, Fidelis, you don't, you, I don't know if they talk to you now. They talk to you now. In Korean, I still with it. Can you imagine yeah. if Fidelis don't take so long past how many years? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Tony, 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 all right, so Fidelis, not a year right now, but once it comes, I'll let you know. Um, uh, but so over to you, Tony and, and, and Rita. Okay, well, we, we are now coming close to the end of the show, and I think we've spoken a lot about the premiere and about the movie. Um, if I go to you, Eta, what will be your whole wrapping up summary about this movie, and what will be the expectation for the premiere on Friday? Okay, uh... I know this will be a touch and life changing experience for a whole lot of people. Then, uh, every other person we go out there to watch that movie, you could be related to it one way or the other. So, I'm using this opportunity to call on our world, our UK, our females in UK, you understand, females in Sierra Leone, UK chapter 5050, UK chapter uh, queen of social media, uh, Agnes Pratt. And in team, uh, they've been doing an amazing job promoting the movie. Oh, I commend uh, uh, Madame Alima Dumike. Uh, I commend her. She's one huge activist who I admire. We don't help out so much and all that. And uh, a whole lot of uh, Sierra Leone community, whether the one day we the run as uh, uh, Ceylon, the my sister with the Ceylon. Uh, we get the biggest salary right now. Na, 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 yeah, we do, they're about to lie. And in team, uh, the, the, me guy, they really run the lounge and all that. Like, this now the turnout I want to see on Friday. Let we come out in with numbers. It's not just so let we sit down, cause politicians and say, hey, salon bad, salon this, salon that. Now we all get the experience. We get the opportunity, say, before help us reunion. I'm here. The executive producer, they don't do them parts for bringing me all the way here. You understand? Do that movie and bring us a can. Let me push this movie, raise more awareness. And I think the only way for give and back now for come out, let us have no say yes, waiting and put the money back, not so in vain and all that. At least the, the Serenium community in the UK do appreciate them and their efforts and they appreciate my work. You understand? Yeah, so sure. I want to use this opportunity to plead to me, Sierra Leone community here in the UK. You're talking to them. My, do you have me fam dead? <laughs> okay. My UK people were there for UK. This na. Na Yabo. 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 UK people, they want to want to. All things they know now for them are social media. They explain. When people they come out around, can now for they explain. No, so can happen now. No, 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 go support. So, there, who said the 25 pounds? 25 pounds, he big. But what's up? Small back. He, he, he not big for that process. Oh, and the 50 pounds. You know, Bokuris. Hey, say, Yabo, come on, Yabo, Kai Ingra. For every Yabo, Kai Ingra, the movie back, let's say, after Yabo, go back. Now, when you go out to support, there, come outside, may you support so that when you have to go, you don't go to the now, so some news their Facebook, they go express say, ah, and wanty wanty, UK people, then they, they, they do what can I what can I way, then do wanty wanty. Now, you have to go explain because me, where you not go, I go call you have hey, go explain, do ya? I know one call and name them one by one, person by person, because me not. Corporation, you know, to person. So they are on a come in on our numbers, please. I am begging in it. In my inner people. <laughs> <laughs> in it. When I come out in on our numbers, please. I am pleading to you. It will be, I mean, we want to take this footage and back home. Yep. 
for the Sierra Leone Premier and Shokise, <coughs> this was the turn up of the Premier in the UK. The fact is, if I dare, let me do out now, not be in vain. Then people they are let to to know each to man, they say, Who side? You don't, you don't, UK will not see you people that are Toro. <laughs> We're not going to roll you. I don't go to the USC. They are big. And we want them more people then. This is for the first time in the history of movies. You see, say, a cast then pull and come out, say, can can't attend the movie premiere. It means, say, they appreciate the effort and the work. So let me give them back and all that. Please, I am begging you to come out in my numbers uh, this Friday, the uh, 21st. Now, Odium Cinema. Do ya on a come out and show on a support now? Only that will make me kind of one not will be in vain. Now, all the only that will make that uh stain you understand sleep or oh, not sleep all oh, next. The man where they mean at the place, no, take a day in chai the snow. That's what me I hope you crow crow and say I go manage for let no more the prayer I make and not sleep take today. But yeah, at the big, on a very serious note, I want to take this opportunity to reach out to all the female organizations here in the UK. This is Enya uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, no, no, come back to the Go back to the Go back to the Come 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 back to the no, you're so right. I think there are so many female organizations in the UK that support what you guys are doing in Sierra yeah. I think they've been working yeah. alongside you guys a lot. Yeah. And definitely they'll turn up in numbers because yeah. there are a huge amount of female organizations here. Yeah. I don't want to be calling names and leave names out, yeah. but I think yeah. there's a lot of them. Yeah. And your guys have almost reached out to a yeah. huge amount of them as well. And of course, before the women last, T-Boy, we social media partners, Sarah Jam Production. Hey, oh boy. Sarah Jen, what would we, I mean, what would we have done without Una support and all that? Yeah. T Boy, the team, Una all, Mio, Fambu, 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 the all. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Sarah Jen, we need their partners then for this event. Thank you very much for all the love and support, T Boy. I mean, from back in the days up to now. So, real life matter. I can tell people that we didn't be So, real life matter. I don't know. When we started it, by way of explaining, explaining, <laughs> the first person will shoot me, 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 me first videos then. Then tell them they will not know about videos then. Then I saw you. We will begin advocating videos then and all that. Oh, it's T Boy. Years, years back. And so, thank you. For the love and support, I do appreciate Sarah Jim. You guys are doing an amazing job raising awareness on issues and social issues and where they affect me in Australia and all that. And so I'm not surprised that you're part of this with us. So when I come out in the numbers, the S up to impress the Sarah Jim with the idea for cover, you red carpet. When I know left to know lay up, you know, say I would explain. I know I like when we get explained. So, dear, when I come and let's say, let me don't tell you about so them people in a UK then crab it. Their hand is short, they're the it's no, crab. I'm not short. I disagree. I know, I'm not sure. All man are UK, then they eat crab. No, they eat crab. They not, so, they eat. not so long ago, come out at the time. Not so long ago, we're not going to be here. And it's embarrassing for let we go here and that day, they will get more Nigerians. Than with the real no. community. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come, yeah. come be, on, come yeah, on, yeah. come on. Una come out, una go. In you una my go. numbers, una yeah. embarrass me. I want day that day, they laugh, cry. Let's only they see easy for Kemi go Toronto. <laughs> but they're serious for coming to America. But they're serious for coming to that small Europa country. Now, when I come on, when I not come on, I not buy it, the return ticket for go back home. When I know one body pound, I hit the naya. So when I come out, yeah. Yeah, I beg. Mean, well, let me come out and show love. Right, so we don't get, we don't get Fidelis back. Um, okay. Fidelis, welcome back. Um, so we are more or less wrapping up. Now, um, what message do you have for you know our viewers and the people that we're expecting to be out there on Friday? Because um, you know we appreciate you very much, all the executive producers and the team. Because one thing I say is like you have confidence in Sierra Leone, you have trust in us. So it's for it's our time to pay back to show we appreciate it. Because 
you would have easily took this story to Nigeria, do the film there, and Nigeria benefits. But this, you decided to make it a Sierra Leone own project. So what's your message out there for our viewers? You are muted right now. Yeah, we um, we appealed you know, to everybody, both um, the Sierra Leone community, the Nigeria community, to come and support this, um, you know, good um, venture. Um, we hope that um, the message and the um, conversation that we want to, you know, promote gets out there. Um, you know, yeah. the, we, we put a lot, um, like um, everybody, uh, my other executive producer has said, mm -hmm. put a lot, we oh, yeah. put our hearts into it, we put our finance into it. It's not just about the money, but it's about the message, um, you know, to humanity. So um, we are appealing that people come and support it, come and enjoy the best of Sierra Leone. Sierra is a beautiful country. There's so much, you know, um, in Sierra Leone that has not been told. Um, you know, the scenery, the people, the language, the Creole. Um, you know, is such there's such a wonderful people. I know all these are captured in the movie. So when you come, um, you watch um, the movie, you have a taste of Sierra Leone. Like they say, it's a lot sweet. So you come and taste this, <laughs> the sweetness of Sierra Leone, you know? Yeah. We, I want to also use the opportunity to thank you guys. Uh, to Gem Media, you guys are too much. Um, T-Boy is too much. From the first time I met him, just one night in UK, and, you know, and all from then to now, it's been amazing. He's been with us step all through the way. So we really, really, really appreciate you guys. You, if this is a success, it's because of you guys, you know. And this is what we we seen, you know. It's all about collaboration. If you see um, um, the industry in Nigeria is big, it's because of collaboration. You can see the musicians, the way they feature themselves, the way they collaborate, the way they lift themselves up, you know. You can't um, do it all. No man is an island, you know. It's through this kind of energy, this kind of collaboration from you guys in the uh, social media, you, your television station, the the promoters, the actors, you no, know, everybody putting in their beat. That's the only way we can promote the industry in say alone. We need more and more collaboration. We can't ask, you know, um, uh, more than that, you know, that's all we need. The industry is still young. We need more people coming out. We need people, the private sector to put in, you know, their little uh, bit into it so we can promote the industry. There are a lot of wonderful actors, wonderful uh, people out there in Sierra Leone. Look at the, the the, um, the 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 actress, the person that acted Mary, you know, her first movie, she was so amazing. We discovered that talent is through this movie. So we need to discover more people. It's true, if we all join hands together, uh, we support this movie, we support this production. You know, there is so much we can do. We want to give more. You know, we need the support, we need collaboration, we need people to come and invest in the industry. You know, you can imagine how, uh, you know, the jobs that is going to be created, you know, uh, through it. So please, 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 we need your support. And like I said, we use the opportunity to thank you guys. This is the kind of support, the kind of energy we we asking for we need more of this kind of collaboration we need more people to put their hands uh, on deck to see how we can you know do our bit yeah the government can do that but we individuals what are we doing to help the country you know this is one of the ways we we can help stay alone create jobs 
you know, showcase the country, um, tell the stories the right way, um, sell the tourism um, industries, uh, you know. So, um, well, thank you all. Um, we're going to have a wonderful time um, uh, during the, uh, the, the premiere. We assure you that the production is top notch from the, one of the best directors in UK, and the arts is so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Fidelis. And um, definitely, you know, CIGM Media is your platform, is your partner. And, um, you know, because we live by a mantra that says African stories has to be told by Africans. And we do mean that. And this platform is an open platform for everyone who wants to use it for the greater good. And we hope, we hope you will see this movie after all your premieres. Hopefully we'll see it in the big distribution channels like the Amazon, and the Netflix, you know, that's where we want the Sierra Leone story to go and beyond. Yeah. And then even if you want to do 10 movies a week, Sierra Leoneans, you know, we want you to do that. We want um, um, solid production not to stop because we want hopefully in the next five, 10 years for us to be at par with Nigeria or at least close to Nollywood. So thank you so much. Over to you, T-Boy and the um, studio guest. Boy? I think, <clears throat> yes, thank you very much, Juma, for that. And I think I want to say thank you also to Fidelis for that contribution that he just made towards everything that has been happening in the UK and in Freetown. But I think I want to come to Fidelis, I mean, to Tony. There has been a dramatic end to whatever we're talking about and how this movie has gone and what is going to be the impact and how touchy is going to be like. Give us your last few words for today's show and then tell us exactly what is going to be the outcome and some of the... Okay, start off with the bits of how we can purchase tickets, where we can get the tickets from, and a few more of those basic, and then you can give us the final finale of the rundown of the dramatic end of this particular stuff that we're here today. So, um, so we can get the tickets uh, online on Eventbrite. Um, it's Virgin Mary. You go to veggiemary.eventbrite.co.uke and if you click on that link, you will take you in. You see the ticket there, £25 for regular and £50 for, for the VIP. Uh, you can also buy the tickets across. Um, I've got the uh, physical tickets placed at Strategic uh, Australian Australian outlets. Sports outlets in the, in the, in the South East here. Okay. Uh, we've got the Mingos restaurants, the two Mingos, one in Peckham, one in Brixton. We have uh, Cool and Cozy. We have um, uh, the Atlas in uh, on East Street. Um, I forgot what their names are, but we have a list of. Uh, we'll post this list on on uh, on the platform when we finish. So you can actually go there and buy tickets, you know, physical tickets. And if you are not able to do that, there will be tickets at the gates. So you can come. And you have someone selling tickets at the gate. You can buy, purchase a ticket at the gate um, as long as you come earlier than you know when the movie starts to screen, which which is uh, ten thirty. Um, and then uh, it's good that Ed had mentioned some of these organisations, uh, the, especially the women groups. I I have actually communicated to them, fifty uh, fifty MGM and all of that. They they have. They gave me positive feedback you know, that they want to get involved. You know, when I wrote to them, I said, "Look, this is the, actually the first step in ensuring that what this story represents, what Mary Camera, Mary Camera, uh, the story of Mary Camera represents, in ensuring that those people who are in that, who have experienced that that sort of situation, get justice." You know. Um, that this is a fight. This is not even you know something that we should take lightly. You know, we we we're doing this for not because for entertainment, it's partly for it, but it's more for for the awareness as we have all discussed. So and they came back to say, No, look, a lady reached out to me and said, you know, she really wants to see the end of this, you know, that she will personally ensure that she wants to see how the impact this movie is going to create. You know, she, she she was emotional about it and you know, she said she's in. 
So we have a few people who are already jumping on, on the bandwagon, which is exactly what we, why we created the movie. All right. You know, uh, people use <coughs> different platforms to to enter is speaking. Uh, other platforms are talking and government agencies and all of that. But then this is movie. So if we can establish this channel as well, you know, of, of advocating for this sort of thing, then um, people will continue to do it. You know, we'll continue, we'll see other people coming out to, to create content of this nature to promote uh, this fight. Um, so just to mention that, uh, unfortunately, uh, we had planned free time premiere in June and the actual lady who has this story, uh, we were all out of free time and someone sent us a message from the hotel where she worked to say that Mary had passed away two weeks before the free time premiere that we, we, uh, that we cancelled. You know, so uh, that, was a, that touched us because she was looking forward to actually attending the event. Uh, we were in communication and she was getting ready, going shopping for her nice gown to, uh, to, 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 to attend the event and uh, she passed away. You know? So uh, just, just to let people, just to throw that out there so they, they know that she's no more. And um, we both, you know, which is the reason why as, actually we still, we actually want her, even in death, you know, we want her story to be heard. and. We also we still want her to get justice, you know. So yeah, yeah so um, big thanks to everybody who has supported us. Fair <coughs> Media, um, DJ Dool did a wonderful, you know, um, coverage for us the other day. Queen of Social Media, Agnes, uh, all of the athletes that you know, the Mingo, Mingos and um, Ramatulai, uh, Ramish Doll, you know. Um, there's a lot of them. You know, so they 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 they've done well, and the Serena community have been very they've been receptive of of this of this movie, and we appreciate everyone so far. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, um, Tony, and thank you very much, Andreta Bawa, Eta, and Yabo, and I want to say thank you also to Fidelis, um, who is online with us, and I also want to say thank you to the director, who is also online with us. Um, you might want to done or you want for done. Which one is it? <laughs> well, I want to say thank you to you as well. Which one? You want done or let yeah. me done? So be before you done, I beg, there's one last thing where I want to be inside. Okay. okay? Um, this time for Yabo. Because Yabo, it operates on black man time. I want to Yabo tell Monjama. <laughs> If not so, it gets for B because you know, <laughs> Yabo Mimpari, they always sabi, especially if they don't care England, they let for wait 10 last minute before they show up. But Yabo, I wonder you tell me if now so you get for do that day, day. if Monjama you party tell you say people let the wait stay last minute for calm. Or them for day day on time. The reason make a mention because Tony highlights say tickets go then I get. So if you can't quick, you go able for buy you tickets, you take picture, you then at the head carpet, say a gem media interview you, you enjoy everything, you go see them, you watch your movie, then you get conversation and go the after party as well. If you want to go the after party, but yeah, boom. Now, for you, make a talk this talk. Here, you family, they wake up, you can tell me by France. Over to you, Yabo. <laughs> Many people, they will work on more pride. Whoa, dog, I you can. Do ya? Men are not call with that day. day. We represent with people. There. They say eh, that thing, that one thing, one thing, how they with one day, the tobacco, they take this up. Eh, what's it? Red carpets. They start exercising. Sabia, what they do, eh? When well, you wear clothes, know that clothes so you don't wear when you you free up your body. They go quick so that other people they go see say you wear that closely. Go quick when they inside you so that the inside you not go down and also you close because that thing they all what they do by the red carpet. We get for so and na na na, na frita. We we'll go back na saron eh, by the premier na saron. We we'll get for so and day. 
So now for car, let them snap you, then talk to you na the red carpet. Quick, quick, quick. Yeah. Me will not read so. Me be what they are so. No say. I mean, your cross, that me your small cross, what I call it. I got for where I'm quick, I did day before 10. The 10 on the day, me. Got me at the day now, I get before on the Me the day now for work on. So I can take this all. I go explain what did happen as a rule. That if you come before 10, then we go do the explanation. But if you say now after the movie, you want, let we explain. Uh uh. I not go get energy for explain what did happen. Right now, the thing that will happen as a rule. First, when you go before the movie, they will talk. <laughs> That you say make how you your consume so go the way you go 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 continue for prayer. But if you not come before the movie go stand, I not carry to work. We do the red carpet. We do the piece or I not say people they go out. We we'll take the piece or we we'll explain. But come first. We we'll do the red carpet on time eight thirty. We have to be there. In it the ten p.m. on ten thirty. It's what the 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 doing. Uh, the movie will we, 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 uh, uh, be on the movie, but Tata, so you have to do that on time. Ne? Okay, so don't talk thank to the rich people then. Do you want thank, to you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad <coughs> you don't talk to people then. I don't see them go listen over to ET Boy and um, you know, round up. Juma, not forget to say not to Udiona. She can still in street too because now the people in the camp where the film don't start. They begin to push more, push more, push more. Remember one pass man. Not to Odiana. She can still in street too or by blast. Haha. Because Odiana and Balos are in the blue with super. Hey, Sammy, my man, come on, come on, man. What did you want? You don't block me. I'm out. That's what you call it. Not to Odiana. She can still in street. Not to by blast along with street. I know for say the Oba not so brutal inside in the day. But anyway, that's the farm. The watchman can I. Watch me, can I go on? <laughs> but anyway, say your last few words to the viewers them and tell them what's not the expectation for what you feel the see you get for because tomorrow, no, um Friday, you said get for the party premier. You know that eh? Okay, no, that's not I'll try. So tell you not you know be aware, but I don't tell you now. Yeah. So, okay, Fatih, say your last words for today's program and what you want for today's program. Sarah Jem Media will cover it. Will be, I think the red carpet will be live, right? Likely. Sure. It's going to be live. We're, we're hoping that the red carpet will be live, courtesy of Sarah Jem Media and all that. And so, you don't want to be left out. Ah, tell for right. snap picture, then give. Tell, Mama, can look can make look can do and that's so no more the life don't they? They will do that social media with you closely. Hello, well, I, I, I want to say thank you, thank you so much to um, you know the production team and the actors, them both the one that we did and the one that we know they. Uh, this has been you know great sacrifice. We appreciate you, and we hope say this project will achieve the ultimate and stand out there. You know, hopefully for make other film festivals, them you know wearing salon story. Good day because we're always um, supporting others. We want now us to be supported. So if we have the likes of Fidelis, the Justin, Tony, that we believe in Sierra Leone for put their money because they say put your money outside your month's day. You know, so if they actually don't put their money and their resources and time, you know, and then get the Henretters and all the good people that don't work on this, I think it's for us to support them as well. You know, we that's the least we can do. And imagine you get an opportunity for go take picture with Yabo. This is a big privilege. Big privilege in a sense. If you been get for take buy tickets from UK for go na salon, Yabo be expensive for seeing a salon. So imagine it don't cost you for almost a thousand pounds for tickets. Then the number of days we get for the day, then sometimes the event self way they go, you know, we will go see Yabo because Yabo where they are now, you know, the security the way you get. But now you get privilege for go to map near Yabo. You they even go live, you take 360 pictures, all of those things you'll be able to do it for, for less than what? Less than 50, um, 100 pounds, you know, 25 pounds or 50 pounds. So please come out and support. So we truly appreciate you all. And uh, Sarah Gem Media will be also again live tomorrow 
um, for continue how they go, they go. And I want to say thank you um, on my own part, and I will hand over to T Boy for letting it lay hand up for me today. Uh, thank tomorrow. you very much, Juma, for that time and that effort and all the contribution you make so far for the program. And I want to say thank you to you as well for extending your regards to the people that we join with online, especially with guests who get online, director and um, Fidelis. So thank you guys for your hard work and thank you for being part of us for tonight's program and also want to say thank you to the man himself the over of the child team behind the screen where they do all the hard work today we blank um no femi without the wait for see femi today now blank i do am by refool it's jam go away tomorrow you know it's jam like it was here talk past friday but anyway if you want to see femi friday drop us an email drop us a text because i'll get a surprise for now we family get for deliver on Friday. For sure. Not a joke. You know, see me in the joke. Juma, I want you come back. You know the surprise. And who say the going? Make like you don't understand, but not begin make so. I understand. You understand, correct. Let me know what so. Yes. But anyway, I want to say thank you to all the viewers online for all your contribution, for all your messages, all your support. And I believe, say, gender-based violence issues, nothing new we don't talk about so many times on this platform. We don't raise a lot of awareness. We don't try to see how best we can for support the people every really day alongside that particular area of supporting people who are suffering, people who have been victimized, and people who have also suffered a lot of domestic violence in Sierra Leone and out of Sierra Leone as well. Because without us giving them that support, giving them that airtime, creating an awareness for them to be able to express what sort of the concern that they're going through, it means their voices will not be heard. And we want for me to again voice them. We want for me to again cry. We want for me that people believe, say, what is actually happening in Sierra Leone is true. And not just in Sierra Leone, but this particular issue is a worldwide issue. It's a global issue. But I think we should begin to pay attention to your small communities then before we look at the bigger picture. Because if they say, us not sell you, streets not go buy you. What will they do within the community? Then we'll get for a look at closely because if we go out of the community, we can't be able to afford to do some of those things against other people who are not within our community. Yes, it is a community issue and communities have to deal with it. I want to say thank you to Enweta and thank you to Tony for giving us their time to be here tonight. And I think say they don't do their best for sell the movie, for sell the premiere of the movie, for also telling her about the insight of this movie and look we see exactly what's going to be the outcome. Watch the movie. And the movie gets a sad end. The sad end of the movie is not really part of the movie. Now, the fact say the character, the storyline, the person who actually tell this story from beginning to the end of this particular movie, where would they watch as a movie? Is a true life story of an individual who unfortunately passed away before the film in premiere in a salon. What a sad situation. But these guys then believe say enough or just left so. So they take them upon themselves for say this not just get for end in a salon. We will make sure say this particular person in story is going to be spread to the global world so that people can understand exactly what people are going through, what people have gone through in their life. We make them able for able for see even the success of their stories. For they will be able to see the story where they not narrate to somebody with tournament or film. What a sad situation. So if you come and support this particular movie, this particular premiere, you are doing a lot of difference in someone else's life. You're creating an awareness. You're making sure that you are part of a story of somebody who doesn't live to see the reactment of a particular story where you don't tell it to somebody. That is the most emotional part of this particular film. Apart from the emotional side of the film itself, the thing that you get for encounter, we get for see, we get for look at, possibly reflect on yourself as a person, either as a victim or as a perpetrator, then you get for learn a lot of lesson for take this particular thing go forward. I want to say thank you once more to everybody and thank you once more to Femi for all the hard work. It's not been easy to put together a studio in the UK to continue to do this on a regular basis. It's not an easy task at all. And I want to say bravo to her for all the hard work that we've been putting together to make this possible. And also to our other media partners, then we also don't help in terms of bringing this thing to the highlights of what everybody don't see. So I think say, they've done their own best as well. And for them for come on board and work alongside we and put the project together with Tuna, 
has made this a success. And I have to say thank you to every single one of them for the fact that they come on board and give now this kind of support. In the UK, it's not easy. It will cost a lot of money, but they've done this to you guys for nothing, for free, just because they believe in this concept. And they believe this concept is not just your concept. It's a national concept that I think everybody should be part of. And I also want to say thank you to the one that we opened arms to UNA, the female organizations, the male organization, the restaurants, the fashion designing industry, the food industry. I think it's been a national thing. But the fact that you are here again means a lot. So I want to extend that thanks and appreciation to you as well because you all left your duties in Sierra Leone for the work the way you do. You decide for can I can actually make sure see you be part of this particular process. It's not an easy thing to do. You've done everything possible. You're here just to grace the occasion. We want to extend that thanks and appreciation in two years' work. And I know for say on that day, you'll be able to meet and greet people who possibly have seen you. Juma not talking like a joke, say, you ask for seeing a free tongue. It's fact. It is fact. Because the it's about what it is, you don't, they talk, you can't get access to na diamond as alone. She's a real diamond because you can't bump into her on the road. You can't bump into her in the cl in streets, not even a nightclub. The only opportunity we might get for see Enrique Tabara now on stage, presenting or hosting, not just a show, but shows that are meant to be shows. So it is an opportunity for all of us. And I haven't set eyes on her for possibly about five years now since I haven't been to Sierra Leone. That's not other story because Salo will come. But anyway, Thank you very much once more for your time, and we appreciate the fact that you guys are here. So we wait to see you guys on Friday, and don't be late because we're going to be spreading out the red carpet live again just as usual, and we will give you a small contribution with all what we've done this so far. Now we're not getting benefit. Now for now we work for. Now for now we perform all what we perform. So just because we want you guys to not just be entertained, but also create an awareness of some of the activities they already have in us alone. Because without you guys, we are nothing. We are nothing because we have to make ourselves something because you're giving us the audience. So thank you once more. And until tomorrow, for another edition of How the Go, the Go Inside the Republic, I've been your host, Juma, or co-host, um, T-Boy, for today's program. Look me, I look you. Until tomorrow, bye-bye. I do. not be good. So see if you go allow me for take Mary to me for keep me company. Adama is finally back from the village. She hey. came back with a child. My teacher may soon find out you're not my brother. Stop coming to the school. You could have prevented the girl with the school and you come here and tell me she was a girlfriend, but you lost the girl. If she's not a witch, I wonder what she is. Yes. According to the test results, your daughter is six months pregnant. Where's the baby? There's no baby. How can you be so heartless to yourself? Show the man who is responsible so that you can be free. <laughs> Thank you, Fidelis. Thank you. And please extend our uh, thanks to Justin as well. We know yeah. he dropped off at yeah. some point. And um, so there's a lady that, you know, just launched a production here in the U.S. Um, I don't know her. She's just an acquaintance. You know, she's not a friend, but I'll talk, I'll talk to her, you know, and just throw the idea to her to see, you know, if she's interested in, um, you know, doing something and then, W once that happens, then I'll make sure I pass her contacts to you guys. Okay. Okay. She's based here in the U.S. Uh, she's a Sierra Leonean as well. She just launched her production. But she's been um, doing a lot of, um, you know, well, movies and things like that here and there. 
I'll reach okay, out to her. Okay, it'll be nice. But in the in the case that yeah. she she doesn't pull off, maybe mm-hmm. 